Polynesian Paralysis, The Sensible Approach to Mindfulness. In this video, we're going to look at an article that appeared in the November 1960 issue of the Bulletin of the San Diego County Medical Society. What makes this article unique is that it was written by a medical doctor and surgeon, Dr. Howard B. Kirtland, Jr. However, I must once again remind you that Polynesian paralysis is not a disease or medical condition. Polynesian paralysis does not involve any drugs or medicine. Polynesian paralysis is 100% totally free and natural. Polynesian paralysis is simply the ability to be still, relax, appreciate nature, and enjoy life. It may appear to others that you are lazy, but nothing could be further from the truth. Polynesian paralysis can help you relax and recharge so that you can be more productive and show more kindness to both yourself and others. Polynesian paralysis usually happens to tourists in Hawaii, but it can happen to anyone, anywhere, anytime. You may have experienced Polynesian paralysis and not even realized it because it was so pleasant and enjoyable. Let's read what Dr. Kirtland has to say about his visit to Hawaii. I won't read the entire article, but I'll read a few sections from the November issue of the Bulletin of the San Diego County Medical Society about the 8th Congress of the Pan Pacific Surgical Association held in Honolulu in 1960. Dr. Kirtland writes, 1,200 years ago, before most Europeans dared sail out of sight of land, a handful of Polynesians sailed 5,000 miles from Bora Bora to the collection of lava pearls in the mid-Pacific called Hawaii. The voyage in an open canoe took them about 30 days. Last month, 1,800 surgeons and their wives traveled from five hours to five days to reach that same group of islands. The occasion was the 8th Congress of the Pan Pacific Surgical Association. The Congress is held every three years, and the Hawaiian doctors are largely responsible for putting on this meeting of surgeons from all countries bordering the Pacific. Aloha shirts and mumus were the order of the day. Despite meetings from 7.30 a.m. to noon each day and receptions or section parties in the evening, everyone was able to spend some time on the beach. I can vouch that the water is as delightful at midnight as it is at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. All the visitors became afflicted with a strange and wonderful malady called Polynesian paralysis, which produces a disinclination to hurry and an overwhelming desire to cast away the worries of the past and future and enjoy the present. While I learned much at the meeting, one thing I did not learn was how to cure Polynesian paralysis. When is the next boat to the islands? Looks like Dr. Kirtland wants to get back on the next boat to Hawaii and experience more Polynesian paralysis. What a great description of Polynesian paralysis. Don't be in a hurry and don't worry about the past and future. Just enjoy the present moment. Don't worry. Be happy. Enjoy life. Fortunately, although Polynesian paralysis is most often experienced by tourists in Hawaii, it can occur even spontaneously to anyone, anywhere, and anytime. It only takes a few minutes to be still, relax, focus on nature, and enjoy life. This video has been brought to you by RX Aloha. For more information about Polynesian paralysis, please visit our website at rxaloha.com or listen to the Polynesian Paralysis Podcast on your favorite streaming platform. Until next time, I hope you'll take some time each day to be still, relax, focus on nature, and enjoy life. Enjoy Polynesian Paralysis, the sensible approach to mindfulness.